today I will be talking to you not only as uh, the Vice Dean of Admissions at ACS uh, Cobham International School, I will also be talking to you as a parent and uh, as an expert who moved to the UK and who have gone through placing my child at the day school in the UK, then opting for a traditional British school and ending up with choosing an international school for my child. So um, ACS International Schools is a group of school. We have uh, four campuses in the UK, uh, three campuses in the UK. Two of them are day schools only. Uh, They're named ACS Egham and ACS Hillenden. And the campus you see on your screen at the moment, it's ACS Cobham. This is our only campus that has boarding facilities. And I will be talking about it um, a little bit later. But um, uh, while you have this uh, slide on your screen, I wanted to mention that this is a very safe campus. You can see boarding accommodation here in the heart of the uh, screenshot. So all students live on campus and it's a very safe place. But nevertheless, let me move to our day campuses first. Um, I know that uh, now with the BNO in place, uh, many of you are thinking about moving to England and we of course want to help you to make your move a success. Um, so two of our, well, basically all three of our campuses offer day education for children starting from age of two and until they graduate. Uh, our campuses are nicely located around um, uh, London in Surrey County. So in most cases, you will be about 20, 30 minutes away from central London. So you can enjoy the buzz of the city living and have good transport links uh, and enjoy all that London can offer to you. Um, galleries, uh, West End shows, uh, performances, uh, historical places. Um, it's very nice to have this proximity to London. But at the same time, if you move and uh, decide to live in Surrey, uh, which is uh, one of the greenest and the most beautiful countries and uh, the, the, probably the most um, uh, affluent county in the UK, uh, you can enjoy the suburban life with better air and nice houses and lovely spacious gardens that most houses have safety and privacy, but also nice local towns that uh, keep the heritage and uh, boast uh, cultural, traditional British cultural vibe. Um, this slide shows you where our families uh, live. So you can see color coded pins, yellow, blue, and green. So it shows where our Hillenden families live, our uh, Egham and Green Cobham families live. So it's all around uh, uh, Heathrow Airport and also very close to central London. So just to name you some areas, so families live in Cobham, Isha, Weybridge, Wimbledon, Uxbridge, Chiswick, Ascot. I'm sure you've known, uh, you've heard all of these names. So um, for families who uh, are planning to come uh, to the United Kingdom as uh, on BNO passport, uh, we are happy to help with education, day education for your children, uh, but also for those families who do not plan to move to England and uh, would like to uh, choose great education for their uh, children um, in the UK. We um, offer boarding in our Cobham campus. Uh, our Cobham campus is only half an hour away from central London, the same distance from Heathrow and Gatwick airports. It's a safe campus uh, with uh, seven day and 24 hour security. Uh, people can access the campus only by presenting a photo ID. It's a co-educational school. Uh, we're non-religious and we do not have a uniform. 
Originally, the school was uh, uh, founded as a school for children of American diplomats who come to live and work in London, but very quickly we grew into an international school and we became one of the first schools that introduced IB to this country. And we have nearly 50 years experience teaching IB. So students who join us uh, can uh, benefit from studying international baccalaureate or American program. So we are not a traditional British school that offers A-level and GCSE. Uh, our curriculum is different. So is different our student body. You can see on this slide, uh, our student body composition. Our first nationality uh, is British, uh, followed by Americans. And we have uh, families from um, other parts of the world. They're all local families uh, who come uh, to London on permanent basis and they live here permanently. And maybe even their children were born in the UK, but originally these families may come from those 70 countries that our campus represents. Um, the beauty of international community, in my opinion, is um, that it's a very fr friendly place. Uh, international families do not need to find their own uh, spot in this niche. Uh, everyone is welcoming, everyone will look after you, everyone will understand your needs and will understand the needs of your child because every family has been through the same journey as you are. So like I already mentioned, we offer American high school diploma, international uh, baccalaureate diploma and US college advanced placement courses. Uh, I understand that um, these programs uh, may need further explanation, but I will be available if you need me to talk you through about these programs. So um, I'm just a little bit conscious of time, so I would like to jump straight to our results. Last year, we were really proud of our huge graduation class. We had 160 students who graduated with 100% pass rate and the average IB score of 37. 11% um, of our students graduated with bilingual diploma, including in Chinese, Dutch, Italian, and Swedish. So families who decide to send their children uh, to ACS from Hong Kong uh, will be able to benefit from uh, uh, choosing Cantonese as one of the languages. Um, 49% of our graduates last year scored 38 or above in IB exams. This means that they all went to uh, the universities of their first choice. Um, I just wanted to draw your attention to the fact that if your child uh, chooses um, American program, it doesn't mean that they have to go to American university because 121 universities in the UK recognize um, US secondary uh, qualification, uh, secondary education qualification. And we have a dedicated university counseling department with Dr. Hinchley organizing about 350 universities visit on campus. So every child who is in our care, who studies at ACS Cobham, has a benefit of meeting university um, admissions officers, professors, lecturers in phase on campus without a need to go anywhere else. And um, we are quite specialist in helping children to go to universities anywhere in the world. Most of our students stay in the UK, about 60%. We have about 30% going to US every year, but another 10% will go elsewhere in the world. There are opportunities to gain scholarships um, at ACS. We are a broadly selective school and we are not um, restricting the areas where your child uh, may um, show us how uh, outstanding they are. It may be music, maybe sport, maybe academics, or maybe some charity work. You tell us and your child tells us uh, where they are outstanding and we will be happy to consider their application. Um, I forgot to mention that for day students, for BNO families, it's, it is possible to get a bursary that ranges from 10% to 100% discount. So please inquire if um, you are planning to move to the UK. So I will show you a few slides with um, some great facilities. 
The good school inspectors wrote in their report that ACS has facilities to die for. And uh, on campus, we have a film studio, we have naturally lead spacious art studios, we have IT um, labs all equipped with Apple computers. Uh, we have 510 seat theater with fly tower, a music school uh, that has individual music practice rooms, music recording studio. Our sports facilities are fascinating. We have Olympic sized track. We have six football pitches, two rugby fields, six tennis courts, semi-Olympic size swimming pool and BA size basketball arena. So it doesn't matter what your child is into, whether it's art, drama, music, we have something for everyone, whether they like robotics, engineering, or whether they like languages. So just really a few words about the boarding. This slide shows the composition of our boarding nationalities. In boarding, we have 160 students represented by 35 nationalities. I like that um, in boarding, we have not so many students. So it's like a home family uh, within a larger school where students can make uh, friendships with local children, but they also get uh, very dedicated attention from our uh, boarding uh, team, from house parents and residential tutors. Our uh, teacher to student ratio uh, in boarding is one to seven. I'm sure that not many schools in this country can boast the same uh, ratio. Um, every student has an individual supervisor um, and uh, we also have teachers of uh, academic subjects who live on campus and support our boarding students on a daily basis. So academic support really stretches beyond the school, it stretches into the boarding. Um, we are very proud of our enrichment program. We offer more than 50 clubs. Students may join law society, medical club, bioengineering club, debating, creative writing. We even have a origami club. So again, it doesn't matter what your child is into, we have something for everyone. Uh, during the weekends, we organize lots of uh, team building trips where we are located. It's very easy for us to go to London, to go to Oxford, to go to Cambridge. Uh, we organize fun activities like paintballing, bowling, pizza nights, uh, discos, uh, karaoke. And you can see on this slide some really happy faces of students really enjoying their life and boarding. So these are just, uh, again, because I'm conscious of time, I don't want to take too much of your time. And also I'm aware there are other speakers. So these are just a couple of pictures of our accommodation. Our accommodation is brand new. We built senior boarding house only three years ago. When families visit us, they say it's like a five-star hotel. All students live in unsweet rooms and the maximum number of students per room is two. And uh, senior students live in single rooms. So, and a few words about COVID. Here in the UK, we are really so used to it. And I know while there are travel restrictions, we know how to look after our children. We have a dedicated medical center with three full-time nurses. We have sick bays, isolation rooms. We are able to provide quarantine facilities for all our boarding students. We have contract with a local laboratory so our students can take day two, day five, day eight, fit to fly test right on campus without leaving the boarding. And we're also an excellent school according to independent school inspection. You may be aware that um, independent school inspection, ISI, is the top authority for independent schools. ACS is a charity. We invest all our profit into school developments. And uh, by recognition of ISI, we have, we're an excellent school in, for boarding, for achievement of our students, for spiritual and moral support and quality of governance. So